Hello boys and girls and welcome back to story time. This week's book of the week. Hot chicks with douchebags. As you can see, I've got my douchebag gear ready to go. And guys, don't get all sensitive and your panties in a tizzy. I know there's plenty of you hot men that date little bitches. So, for this week's book, Hot Chicks with Douchebags, a.k.a. Wankers. Now, boys and girls, it's very important to understand why we make these choices. Let's first of all go to the definition of what really a douchebag is. One. A feminine hygiene device used for cleaning. That's not what we're talking about. Number two, a heterosexual male attempting to attract a female through his use of excessive cosmetic products, hand gestures, fist pumping, loud shirts, upturned collars, jewelry, and intricately carved facial hair. I don't know why any of us go for these people, but it does happen, so I'm not judging you. I mean, there's plenty of douchebags out there. Let's think. Don't be a Rihanna dating a Chris Brown or K-Fed. He's the biggest douche out there. But really, people, you have to think this through because you don't want to be looked at like a Janet Jackson dating a Jermaine Dupri. I mean, people think if this girl's dating that douche, she'll date anybody, and you don't want to be seen that way. So if you want to ask yourself the question, on Chapter 5 it discusses, am I dating a douchebag? And there's many categories. I'll just go through a few very quickly. There's the frat bag, um, the Federer bag. See, I told you K-Fed is such a douche. It goes on and on and on. The jersey bag. Women, cleanse yourselves of these people. And men, just drop off those little bitches. Go out and buy this book. Educate yourself. Hot Chicks with Douchebags. I highly recommend it. Cheerios, and we'll see you here next week for the next book of the week.